that testing, as well. Testing. So some of these things uh, I will try to let the viewers Just to show you yeah. what's happening. This is what is happening now, so man. Uh, that is our own DLB internal training and so today is Tuesday, we are in week 3 of the circuit breaker The real estate is considered one of the non-essential business activities We cannot conduct physical viewings All real estate activities have to stop except for legal appointments if the contract was already done before the circuit breaker or HDB legal completion but the agents are not allowed to go together with the clients some clients are affected especially those that are in between shifting like renovation, moving, rental handovers spend the first two weeks connecting with our clients because everybody is anxious everybody is worried about how will this situation pan out now everything is to a standstill This is um, one of the things that we do weekly. We meet up with our inside sales team because we market properties together in a team effort, together with our media team. So we work as one. <sighs> All right, let's start. Who went last yesterday? Okay, so I think today is very nice and later on. Today, today I just need to finish my dual residences, draft one, and set to Melvin. I have to post the so far so good, isn't it? And discuss the posting with Gary. We need to go landing page for our residence. Hi, morning everyone. Continue for my inventory system. Doing my chit chat. Going to continue my sales force update. That's all. Thank you. Hey, sorry, uh, can I ask about the Chinese subtitles, right? Who is typing it, uh? Josephine? Uh? Wow! Is that like word for word or what? Oh. Wow, okay. Great, okay, continue. Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Hey guys! Hi guys! So we're just about to start our PLB weekly huddles. Let's go! We also continue our huddle on Mondays and Thursday, 12 p.m. We get to talk about our listings, do some sharing of news, as well as catching up on cases with the rest of the team. Some good vibes to keep ourselves positive. Tuesday, 3 p.m. is the time that we meet and gather because to train one another. Today, Kevin is sharing. <laughs> see, Kevin is still eating. <laughs> see, see. Today's presenter. Who is sharing with us how to identify problems and the solutions before we start marketing our client's house for sale? Before I market the unit, I walk about. Yeah, so these are some of the things that I will usually do when I'm doing the preparation work. It is to anticipate what are the problems that I will face. We are having our Q&A session right now. Everything okay? Yes. Alright man. Thank you. Hope you have a good day at home. For PLB, we still continue to do a lot of our um, online consultations. We clients on Zoom, on FaceTime, we have buyers and we have sellers here. Right now, I'm actually doing a proposal for my clients in terms of the staging. We've conducted a couple of virtual viewings as well. If buyers call in, after seeing the home tour and stuff, they still want to meet in person to chat. We will meet them on Zoom, walk them through the property on our website, our 3D virtual tours, on our home tours, and then we talk a little bit more. Hi everyone, right now over here, I'm getting myself comfortable, I'm trying to set up. Before that, I'm going to have my lunch first. Today is going to have a simple porridge. Stay at home, sometimes it's good to have some plain porridge for lunch. Hello, okay now let me show you. This is the executive apartment, it comes with four bedrooms. If you have any questions along the way, let me know. Uh. Just ask and then we will prompt the video there for you to take a uh, closer look. This block is something like a U shape. We are at, right at the corner of the other block. This is actually the balcony, the flooring. They have redone it into marble flooring. 
say that cannot cannot show like that. It's singing. It. <laughs> yeah. So so that's. Okay, no problem, no worries. Mm, anything can come back to me. Thank you so much, everyone. Stay safe. Bye. Apart from viewings, we're still continuing, continuing to uh, collate all of the inquiries that we're receiving. We go through things like how to create great content for you guys during this period. So we're still producing content. There's a whole other aspect of real estate that we still gotta do. How is the response like right now? How should we follow up? How should we increase traffic to view this property by creating and leveraging on the digital side of things? We are also creating this thing called Carousel Post that gives you a, a very succinct summary of why you should look at this home so you might have seen Time check, 5.40. Just finished a meeting with Sing Yun. Uh, I'm planning to launch it uh, maybe later tonight. She is my QC, by the way, who has been helping me to design, make sure the wording is in line. This is some of the carousel posts that I'm doing right now. We still want to do the best in our marketing aspect for all our clients and all our listings. I set up scripts. This how I try to prove myself lah. Right now it's actually 2 a.m. I'm currently working on a blog post for our PLB website. This is actually the time whereby I get most productive. I don't have to attend to my three kids as well as the in between some feeds that I have to do since I'm actually on maternity leave right now. Do keep a lookout for our blog on the website as well. Today is Wednesday. First live session by Melvin Lim and Adrian. On so far, so good. Also, we're gonna show why we did our live show just now on Facebook and YouTube. So this is the room, and let's go. It's my daughter's room. I hacked into her room because maybe Ethan was sleeping in my room just now, so I couldn't operate from my study table. This is a makeshift laptop stand because the table is just too small and a webcam and stuff. Do catch us live um, every Wednesday on Facebook and YouTube. We still try to connect us up to Instagram, so stay tuned for more updates. Do check out more of our contents on social media and stay safe. Cheers. I find that this circuit breaker trains me to exercise that level of accountability to my guys. Every morning, I want to make sure that I'm ready to delegate, solve problems with them, and then we move the brand ahead, move the team ahead. It also allows me to exercise a great deal of self-discipline. Of course, it needs a lot, a lot of discipline. Although we are self-employed on a daily basis, but this is a whole new level. Right here with me, this is my new workstation that I kind of set up two weeks ago to help me get stuff done, do some work. I have a bit of difficulties trying to work from home. I tend to lose focus very easily. So I kind of set this up so that I am able to work a lot more comfortably and be a lot more focused when I'm doing my work. I'm all set with my coffee and let's do this. Now, I can do some exercise as well at home. Uh, I think January our team is upbeat. Come, so chop chop one. In every situation. There are things that we, we need to sacrifice, but there are also things that we gain. What we have gained from this situation is that um, there's a lot more time at home. So we're gonna make ham and eggs. All right, it's time to eat. Blueberry, mango, and apple. Good. Thank you, love, for this wonderful meal. Mm. <laughs> you like it? Is it sour? Wow, it tastes great. Was 
see the diamond house. No, it's not before the one that you for weapons, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, so now it's the kids are having a home-based learning time. Okay. Hello, Hello. 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 All the frontline workers and the healthcare workers in Singapore, day in and day out, helping Singapore to combat this COVID-19 situation. And we pray that this situation will be over soon. Those people who are currently suffering from COVID-19, we wish that you recover soon, we wish you good health. The families who are affected, who are under quarantine, we pray that you'll be able to get back to normalcy soon. And uh, as for our clients, I want to let you guys know that all the ads and all the uh, advertisements are still running 24-7. We didn't stop at all at the marketing. And once these uh, measures is lifted, uh, we do hope to have more actions and more physical viewings for your property. We want to wish uh, Singapore strength and faith in uh, conquering this together. So PRB team would just like to uh, wish everybody to stay safe, remain in good health, exercise, uh, be positive, encourage one another. We know that definitely we'll be able to conquer this together. Hello everybody! I'm off work and I'm home now. How's the day? <laughs> I heard that you booing very loud. That's his booing face. Are you booing? 